hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to implement the progress bar before inserting the records into a SQL Server database table and here we got the final output of that code notice we got the header tags horizontal line and three text boxes with button control let's enter some employee details Charan Charan at gmail.com and the salary is 15,000 now before insert these details into this table let's check execute this table uh, right now this EMP record contains zero rows let's insert the values insert record see here we got the progress bar And here we got a message record inserted successfully. Let's check in the table this employee details Charan is inserted successfully or not. I'm executing the table. See here we got EMP ID, Charan email, and salary is 15,000. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Visual Studio to insert records, first we'll create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder as well as I'm expanding the databases. Notice that the sample DB database is my user database. I want to create a new table in this sample DB. Right click the sample DB. New query. I'm writing the query to create a table. Create table, create table, bbo dot new emp detail record is a table name, emp id, int not now, primary key I'm adding, as well as I'm adding the identity one column one. emp name and var cat 150 emp email and var cat 250 and the last one i'm adding salary which is an int type just for the demo purpose i have added only few columns into this table let's execute to create this table and here we got a message command completed successfully Let's check this new EMP record is added into this sample DB or not. I'm refresh the database. I'm expanding the tables. And here we got the new EMP record. Right click that one. Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. Right now this newly created new EMP record table contains zero rows. Let's insert some records into this table implementing the progress bar. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Implement progress bar insert is a project name click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty click ok and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding one new web form page I click the project name add web form I'm not changing the item name of the web form. Click OK. And here we got the source page of the web form 1.aspx page which contains simple HTML code. What I'm doing in this form and do tab, I'm adding a center tag, h1 header tag, how to implement progress progress bar before insert the 
private cards. ASP.NET using Ajax. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding the Ajax script manager, open toolbox. I'm expanding the folder Ajax extensions, script manager here. After adding the script manager, next I'm adding the update panel, open toolbox again. Here is the update panel and I require one more update progress, open toolbox, update progress. And here I have added three Ajax controls. One is a script manager, second one is update panel and the third one is a update progress. After that, in the update panel, I'm adding content template. In this content template, I'm adding table border is equals to one. Inside this table, I'm adding tr td the column names we have employee name email and salary let's add those labels emp name td I'm adding the text box control open toolbox I'm expanding the standard folder in the standard folder, come to the bottom, there is a text box control, add that one. I'm changing the text ID to text name. Let's copy this TR. EMP email. I'm changing the text box ID to email. And salary, changing the label to salary. After the table, I'm adding one button control to insert the records. Open toolbox, button control, and I'm changing the button label property to insert record. And I'm changing the ID to button ID, but insert. After the button control, I am adding one little control to display the message if the records are inserted successfully or not. Open toolbox. Here is a little control. Add that one. And I am changing the little id to litmsg, little message. After adding the controls in the content panel, inside the update panel, now in the update progress, we need to add this update panel ID, which is the update panel 1. Associated update panel ID is equals to update panel 1. After that, I am adding progress template. Inside this progress template, I am adding the image control, which is the progress bar. So open Solution Explorer. I'm adding a new folder. Right click the project name. Uh, add a new folder. The folder name I'm adding the image. Now in this image folder, I'm adding the GIF animation, the progress bar. Right click the image folder. Add existing item. In the desktop, I have the GIF image. GIF image is a progress bar. I'm adding that one. After that, just drag and drop this loading image in between the progress template. I'm adding the property height 50 and the width 50. That's it. Up to now, we have just finished the designing part. Now, open Server Explorer. In the data connections, I'm adding the database name. I click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding the server name. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. 
sample db is my user database we have created the table in this database only test connection is succeeded okay okay and here we got the sample db dot db wall we need the data source of the sample db for that right click the sample db dot db wall go to properties in the properties that there is a connection string which contains a data source just copy this data source open solution explorer in the project there is a web.config file open that one in the web.config file inside the configuration i'm adding the connection strings add name is equals to my connection is a connection string name connection string i'm adding the data source which i have copied provider name which is a system dot data dot sql client after that uh, switch to the source mode again design mode go to design mode now double click the button control to write the code to insert values I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces now in the button click event I'm adding string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings now between these double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is in the web.config file we have the connection string I'm adding my connection just copy this one add the connection string name dot connection string property SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection add the main con this object string sql query is equals to here the sql query is a insert statement insert into the table name is dbo.new emp record let's copy that one and paste here and the values we have emp name emp email And salary the last column name values at EMP name at EMP email at salary let's add the semicolon after that SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters first one is a uh, SQL query the command text and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con uh, before that let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL con dot close method now between the open and close SQL com dot parameters dot add with value the add with value takes two parameters the first one is a string parameter name which is a at emp name the value between double quotes comma and the second parameter is the object value here the object value we are getting from the text box control so let's add the text box id text name dot text semicolon let's copy this one the second column is the email emp email text email and the last one is a salary text salary after that SQL com dot execute non query method. So after so after execute non query, once the record is inserted successfully, I want to display the message. For that, I have added the little message, which is a lit msg 
is a little control id dot text is equals to record inserted successfully that's it up to now we have just implemented the functionality when button click we insert the records but our aim is before insert the records i want to show the progress bar on the browser so in the page load in the button click event i'm adding thread so the thread classes belongs to using system the threading namespace now we can get the thread class dot sleep 3000 3000 milliseconds which means 3 seconds up to 3 seconds the progress bar will show after that it will display the message record inserted successfully let's check the final results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output of that code notice we got the header tags horizontal line and three text boxes with button control let's enter some employee details charan charan at gmail.com and the salary is 15,000 now before insert these details into this table let's check execute this table Uh, right now this EMP record contains zero rows. Let's insert the values. Insert record. See here we got the progress bar. And here we got a message record inserted successfully. Let's check in the table this employee details charan is inserted successfully or not. I'm executing the table. See here we got EMP ID, Charan email and salary is 15,000. That's it.